We're here today to show you how to install your new GMC grill insert letters. The first thing you'll need to do is grab your tools. We've got a pair of scissors so that we can cut out our template. We've got a small flathead screwdriver and we've got a drill with a quarter inch bit and a little bit of tape. Next, you're going to need to trim out the template letters, which we've done already. And tape them over the stock OEM letter. We're going to be replacing only the red insert, not the chrome border, so we're going to want to take care not to damage that. Same thing as we're taping it, we're going to want to get it all lined up correctly. Next, we'll take our drill, and just in case the template rips while we're trying to drill, we're going to mark each spot by gently, well, a little bit of force, pressing in the spot we intend to drill on. That way, if something should happen to our template, we'll have our marks. Next, while we're drilling, we're going to want to take special care again so that we don't damage the chrome border because that piece is going to be staying. The goal is to only drill through the red and not all the way through the chrome piece. Now that we've drilled the six holes in the first letter, we should be able to get the plastic red piece to come out. It may brack break or crack as you're drilling, uh, that's almost the, the point at which you know you've drilled far enough. Next, we'll need to try and clean up and get this surface as flat as possible. We can get rid of our template for that letter and we'll prepare the new letter to go in. Okay, now we're ready to install the letter. First, again, we want to make sure that this is all flat and clean so that when we put the new tape in there, it'll stick. Next, we'll peel the backing from the adhesives. Line the letter up. And press and hold good couple minutes here we'll make sure that it'll stick forever do the remaining letters so when completed the letter should sit flush and this is what it'll look like when you're done